So let's go ahead and get started here. The first thing we want to do is come in, you know, so all of our plugins are activated here. So there's a quick and easy way to go into the database through PHP My Admin to disable plugins. If you come in here to cPanel, the first thing that we need to do is we need to locate the database name. So go to File Manager, we're going to go into the public HTML folder. Then we're going to find the wp-config.php file. We're going to come over to so our database is wpd blah 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 blah. So 983 is the last three. So let's go ahead to PHP my admin. We'll find our database. Here's the database here. Okay, so we need to go to the options table. We'll go ahead and do this to 250. Type in active. You can see active plugins here. So go ahead and click edit. Now we can disable all of the plugins by removing all of this, or we can disable one specific plugin. So we see here is four. And if we go here, we see we have one, two, three, four. So we have four plugins enabled. So let's disable a Kismet. So change this to a three. And then I'm gonna start here with the I and go all the way over to this here. Control X, hit go. Just make sure that you're paying attention to the syntax and that you're not uh, missing any characters. So if we go back over here to plugins, you can see here now that Akismet is disabled. So let's go ahead and activate that again. And we can also simulate a damaged plugin. So let's go to Loganizer and we'll go here to the Loganizer file. And in between the PHP tags, let's just add some random text here. Yeah. And we'll come and refresh. Now we can see that we have this error here. So let's come back into the options table. Active plugins. And let's go ahead and remove Loganizer. So we'll change this to three and we'll find out where Loganizer is and we'll copy here and we'll go back to the last one there. Control X, go. And let's come back over here and refresh this. And there we go. And if we come back in to the plugins, you see Loganizer is now disabled. So after this, there's a couple more ways that you can disable plugins in a database. I can go over those in another, in another video for this one specifically. It's, it's how to disable plugins through the database. If you have any questions, for sure, leave them in the comments below. Uh, if, you if you're having errors with plugins or, or anything that we can help with.